Good morning, everybody. I'm Giacomo Santicchia, and today we present my work, Rock Slope Displacement Analysis by Terrestrial Photo Monitoring in Wet Canyon. This project is a collaboration between the Department of Earth Science of La Sapienza University and the Department of Geological Science and Geological Engineering of Queen's University. It started about a year ago with the aim of using a new rock fall monitoring technique. The project involved the installation of the optical camera to assess the frequency of collapses affecting Wet Canyon, um, where the Canadian National Rail main line runs along the base of the slope. Photo monitoring is providing excellent results on Poggio Baldi experimental site, a landslide located in the um, central portion of Italian Apennine. The um, camera is installed next to one of the rail track near the Thompson River and it's facing the cliff. We installed it at a distance of more or less 400 meters and the red area that you see is the investigated area um, right above the railroad. A brief introduction about the sensor. The flat mesh 4G camera is a solar powered solution for static imagery. It contains a monochrome digital camera which can take photographs day or night without the use of an external illuminator. The 4G camera connects to a sensitive edge hub unit which provides power and connectivity over the cellular network or a 16 wired Ethernet networks. The dimensions are quite small and there is a great range of operating temperature. The price is around 12,000 Canadian dollars. As you can see on the GIF on the left, we receive a PNG format image and considering the position of the installation, we have a ground sampling distance uh, of a pixel of 5 cm or 2 inches. Images are automatically acquired every 6 hours with the possibility to acquire an image on demand. Due to the harsh winter condition of intense cold and bad weather, we get, began monitoring at an affordable time of the year. The timeline presented in the sampling of image spans from October to January, but the camera is still in operation, capturing ongoing data. Each color of the timeline has a different meaning. We got gray for sensor issues because we got correct the sensor focus on the initial start of the project, which was necessitated by the complexity of the scenario. Then in yellow, we got optimal functioning. We got a perfect operation of the instrument with images acquired every six hours continuously. In purple, we got weather issue because due to heavy snowfall, the scene is completely covered in snow. And we also have some problem where there is extremely cloudy, as you can see from the images. And in the in black color, we got a power supply issues. Due to reaching temperature lower than the operating limits of the sensor, we got a sudden loss of power from the 6th December of 2022 to the 6th January of 2023. You can see the current situation is displayed on the graphic. A lot of pictures are not suitable for different issues and during the optimal functioning of the tool, we have to make a further subdivision of good images, images with high contrast shadows and night images. Images with high contrast shadows and night images are good picture, but not so good to be used to carry out the analysis. But based on our experience in Poggio Baldi that we are performing since a year, we can make a future forecast. In the next part of the year, we will face a better weather condition and the main sensor issues had already been solved. So we will expect an increase of good images. On the timeline, you can also see some red star. This indicates six perfect pictures that were selected. But six image, but good image for what? Good images to carry out analysis. Using specific algorithms, we can assess any variation in radiometric characteristic between two or more pictures to perform change detection analysis or displacement analysis. We use, to perform this analysis, we use the IRIS software. It's a software made by NASCAR two years ago. Main function of IRIS software 
are divided in preprocessing, in which we can work with the picture with the raw picture in order to remove any noise. On the manual processing, we can do co-registration, we can do change detection analysis, we can do displacement analysis, multi-temporal displacement analysis, and automatic multi-temporal displacement analysis. We can work also on post-processing, exporting results in numeric and image format, uh, getting time series of the displacement and uh, result adjustment, or we can even do 3D merging, ingestion of point clouds or digital image model. So let's take a look, a closer look on what we do. We use change detection analysis that are based on structural similarity index that takes into account three parameters between the images, luminance, contrast, and structure, allowing us to detect any change in our scenario. This will give a result between zero and one, where zero is the highest change in the picture. The digital image correlation work on different type of algorithm, and the most important are phase correlation and normalized cross correlation that work both of them with moving windows along the image and allow us to take measurement below the, the pixel size. A brief um, explanation of the workflow that we follow on the um, software. We upload the stack of the image. The software will automatically choose the most similar image in terms of brightness and shadow position. Then we perform a co-registration, so the images are superimposed. Next, we define the area which the analysis has to be performed. An analysis mask has to be drawn or imported. Then we set all the parameters, the characteristic parameters of each type of analysis. And then we start the analysis. So, let's move to some results. We selected from the timeline six images to carry out change detection analysis. As you can see from the picture, um, we have a lot of green in the images, so it means that nothing very big happened. Most of these colored dots represent collapses that occurred during the period analyzed. More specifically, the highlighted cutout on the right show a rock fault. Looking at the image used for the analysis, it can be seen that a block is missing from the circled portion of the January photo. Using the ground sampling distance of 5 cm per pixel, we can calculate the size of the collapse, that is approximately 3 square meter. We got some other red dot on the image, but the dimension of the involved block are quite smaller, almost 1 square meter. Now take a look on displacement analysis. On the same picture that we used before to perform change detection analysis, we perform also some displacement analysis. We, as you can see, we do a different mask because we wanted to see the changes and the displacement inside the debris channel. So we perform the first analysis. I will show you. It's everything green, so it means that no, almost nothing moves. Then the second analysis from October to November, where we can see that something is moving on the debris channel. And the um, images, the first images from October and then January, the end of January. As you can see in the debris channel, we have displacement highlighted by the software with the color red and blue. Let's focus on the left part. Noticing a difference between two images in the debris channel is not as simple as seeing a missing block. But performing a time series on the yellow zone, we can see when the debris channel was most active. As you can see, for each dot, we performed the, the multi-master analysis. So we uploaded a stack of image, and we can see the movement that occurred from November to December. The same, we can do the same also for the left channel. As you can see here, it's easier to spot the difference on the debris channel. And also the time series shows us different um, results. I will just show where obtained from a photo monitoring application carried out for a limited period of time. This technique was tested at the White Canyon, also given an excellent result 
at the experimental site and natural laboratory of Poggio Badi, of the Department of Earth of Science of Sapienza University. We see before we started using this monitoring technique in Poggio Baldi landslide that's located here in Italy. And um, this is our site of our uh, landslide and permanent lab, which you can gather any information through there. The Baldi cliff is made by alternance between politic Merli layers and politic Arenaceous layers. And as Sapienza Group, we are working on site science 2015, and in the last three years, we started using more monitoring techniques. From 2021, we made a permanent lab. We installed a lot of monitoring tools, such as ground-based insert and the weather station and the microphone, and we are collecting a large amount of data continuously. The large amount of data we obtain through the use of camera, we have developed together with NASC an automatic analysis system for the camera image. This process is divided in five steps. Arrival of the image, where the image captured for the camera are transmitted from the site to the university server. Cataloging, automatic selection, analysis, and then the result visualization. That's how it looks, an automatic analysis. As you can see in the log down there, you can see every hour the process is repeated. And this process is continuously running from the loading the image to the analysis, and it's repeated, repeated cyclically every hour. If an image is yet present inside the cataloging, it will not download and restart the process. As you can see, we can perform a huge amount of change detection analysis and we are now capable to detect even the smallest rockfall as, for example, this one or this one. In legend, we have gained a multiparametric monitoring of rockfall in recent years has been made possible thanks to the construction of the natural laboratory in Poggio Baldi. This laboratory has allowed us to host the research institution and the external companies with the goal of testing new tools, such as the camera recently installed at Wet Canyon. Thank you for your attention.